Hi, I'm Ryan Schmidt, and I'm a farmer here in West Jordan, Utah, and this is my wife. I'm Anna Schmidt. I am the CGO here at Schmidt's Farming Greenhouse. That means I'm the chief glue officer. I hold things together around here. <laughs> <laughs> and we, uh, we have a small farming business along with the greenhouses that we run. Um, where we grow our starch for the farm, but also grow bedding plants and hanging baskets for the public to come and purchase from our store. We have a greenhouse outlet store here on the original Schmidt's Farmstead, located uh, just off of Redwood Road. My great-grandfather was in the construction industry and did roads, uh, specifically concrete. And after some time there, his boys were getting into trouble and they decided they wanted to move to the country to raise their family. And so they loaded up and brought the wagons out here to uh, West Jordan and bought 60 acres of land and built a home and a little farmstead and started their, their farming. So I'm the fourth generation to continue the farming tradition here in West Jordan. We now farm in an urban environment. We're surrounded by a many neighbors and lots of traffic, but our vision is to continue the farming legacy as, as long as we can. So our greenhouse that we have today sits on the original farmstead. Um, the barn, the big barn that housed the animals um, is where the greenhouse is today. And when Jenny and Marie moved here with their boys, it was just open farmland and lots of country and they, did a lot of sustenance farming and raised grains for animals and things like that. And then as Ryan's grandpa um, took over the farm, then he and his brothers started farming uh, a little more sustenance, but then they started canning, uh, farming for the cannery. And, and uh, as development started to come in a little bit more and, and more population grew, it was still very urban, rural, excuse me, very rural, but um, now, today, we're in the middle of suburbia, farming little plots here and there all over the Salt Lake Valley. Um, and it's gone from kind of a sustenance farming to more of an agritainment and uh, novelty type of experience where lots of people want to come and experience the farm rather than already living on the farm and having that lifestyle. Right. We started selling corn, vegetables on the side of the road. Um, back when my grandpa planted a little bit of sweet corn to sell for his kids to make some extra money. And then my dad kind of expanded on that and did a little bit bigger setup. And that was one of the main sources of our income for s several years was the roadside stands. So it's evolved over the years. And today we do focus a lot on the agritainment side where our produce stand has a you pick pumpkin patch and fall harvest festival kind of situation. Um, we have the greenhouse here where we invite the public to come in and purchase their, their flat plants and flowers for their yards and gardens. And so um, we've tried to expand the crops and the times of years that we're doing things and also inviting more of the public to come on, participate in what we're doing.